I don't follow the argument that, okay, nobody gets busted for it, so therefore we should keep it illegal. I, can, can you connect the logic of that one? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> if you've been to California, for example, uh, it's a $100 citation for possession. So already, you're not going to go to prison. If you look at our prisons in California, we, we're, we're releasing felons left and right on our streets. I was a commissioner on our state parole board, worked in our state prison system. I never once came across somebody in there for minor possession of pot. Then why do we keep it illegal? I don't understand your point. Well, why do we keep heroin, LSD, prostitution, child pornography illegal? I mean, it's a pretty simple child point. Child pornography and marijuana? Okay. Yes, because drugs destroy lives. <laughs> we have more addicts in this country today than we have had in a long time. It's a shame uh -huh. when there's so many issues in the community that we could be working on. There's organizations and people who are trying to not just legalize marijuana, but all drugs across the board, and that's a shame. The head of the DEA now has been uh, part has been a DEA agent since 1980. You know, this this is what the DEA and the Department of Justice know, and uh, they they look at these uh, pot shops opening up and they just recoil. It. it you know, they just on a on a moral and an ethical level, they, they look at it and they're and they're offended. Uh, just like just like Paul's saying, you know, he, he cannot imagine that he lives in a country where some people uh, who are are sick or, or who have gone to their doctor and have gotten a recommendation are allowed to just walk into a, a shop and buy, and buy marijuana. It just it just drives them insane. And, and you and it just, can I respond to that? Totally crazy. And they start talking about child pornography. 